For the rising trot, many people brace against the stirrup, which pushes the hip back in the saddle, and then they have to lead with the chest to try and get out of the saddle. But they're now on the forehand, they load the horse's weight onto the forehand, and every stride, they come back into the saddle and crash into the back of it, which is going to really could bother the horse's back after repeated rising trot strides. When you brace the lower leg forward, the same thing happens. The femur pushes back and up into the hip, and so you have to try and get over the femur, but that pressure back from the stirrup is blocking that hip from swinging forward up, so I have to lead with the chest. You'll notice that the head comes forward. And then we get yelled at to sit up straight, and we try to hinge back so that now we are more upright, but we still have the same problem because we're on the forehand, and we put the weight on the horse's forehand. The solution to rising trot is a swing motion. Many people hear the words up, down, up, down to rise the trot. But if I strictly do up, down, I'm just going up and down in a vertical plane. And so I push myself up from my stirrups and I fall back into the saddle. When we ride it as a swing motion, we are never unstable on the horse. We are always in control of the motion and we can regulate the horse's trot through our rising trot motion. The swing motion is when we think of leading with the bottom of the zipper and coming back. My weight transfers to the thighs. Instead of just the stirrup, I support myself and come back down. So I swing up, down, up, down, up, down.